Walker Buehler just made his first start in nearly two years. Let's break it down on Fantasy Baseball Today in 5. Welcome into FBT in 5 on Tuesday, May 7th. I am Frank Stanfield, joined by Chris Towers and Walker Buehler made his first start with the Dodgers since June 10th of 2022 and... He was a little bit rusty against the Miami Marlins. Four innings, six hits allowed, three runs, zero walks, four strikeouts, had eight swinging strikes on 77 pitches. He did a good job limiting hard contact in this one. The velocity was actually up a little bit mm -hmm. on the fastball, 95.9 miles per hour. So that was a good thing. The problem, he didn't really have a good feel for his secondaries, and I think you see that in the final line. Chris, what's your overall takeaway here on Walker Bueller's season debut? I mean, look, for, for a guy with his name value going up against the Marlins, you, you certainly expect better than three earned runs and in four innings. So in that regard, it's a disappointment, but I actually come out of this feeling pretty good about Walker Bueller, mostly because of the velocity in his, in the minor league outings that he was making in front of the stack ass cameras. He was sitting more 93, 94 and honestly more on the 93 side of 93, 94. So the fact that he came out and his velocity was actually up, from 90 from 2022 is i think a pretty good sign like you said the curve slider and changeup were all pretty ineffective he leaned on the cutter really heavily i i generally think that that's probably just like you said a feel thing he wasn't executing he was a little rusty whatever version of that you want to go with i feel pretty good that walker bueller is going to figure things out and be a good pitcher moving forward do I think he'll be a top 12 starting pitcher? Do I think he'll be an ace again? My expectations aren't quite that high, but he doesn't need to be that good to justify certainly a roster spot, how long you've held on to him, all that. I think Walker Buehler will end up being a must-start fantasy pitcher. James Paxson is picking up wins for the Dodgers. He has more walks <laughs> yeah. than strikeouts on the season. So if Walker Buehler could just be solid, I, I think he's going to wind up winning a lot of games here mm -hmm. moving forward. Are either of these players a thing for fantasy? Johnny DeLuca went two for four with his first home run with the Rays. He has started four straight games, three of those against the righty, one against the lefty. He's five for 15. He has 10 RBI already in only four games and a 1042 OPS. Some really interesting minor league numbers as well. He's only 4% mm -hmm. rostered. Chris, could Johnny DeLuca be a thing? I absolutely think Johnny DeLuca can be a thing. And partially that's just, I mean, my God, outfield is so bad right now that like if you own a baseball bat, you might be a top 50 outfielder for fantasy right now. So look, Johnny DeLuca, the, the quality of contact metrics in the minors weren't great. It was 86.4 mile per hour average exit velocity at AAA going back to the start of last season. But he has a very pull heavy swing. He has uh, not quite as extreme a fly ball tendency as like Isak Paredes, but similar you know that that's the profile i guess if you're if you're looking for a reason to be optimistic but it's a, a better athlete than isak paredes you know that there's some stolen base upside here he was really really productive at double a AA and triple a in his career so yeah deluca was a, a big part of the tyler glass now trade the rays clearly like him he started each of the first four games since coming back from the il i i think four percent rostered is way too low and i think Pretty much any five outfielder league, Johnny DeLuca is worth uh, adding just to see what happens. What about Simeon Woods Richardson? Could he be a thing? He was up against the Mariners, six shutout innings, one hit, one walk, eight strikeouts, had 10 swinging strikes on 82 pitches, and he's got a really good slider. I think there are some question marks with the fastball in the changeup, but so far he's got a 174 ERA and a 106 whip, 23% rostered. Chris could... Simeon Woods Richardson be a thing. I think this is probably more of a hot hand streamer play, but partially that's just because starting pitcher has kind of been the opposite of outfield this season where we've had so many guys come out of relative obscurity to become what look like viable starting fantasy options that I don't know how many of my teams have a need for a Simeon Woods Richardson, but he does have 20, 21 strikeouts and 20 and two thirds in his last 20 and two thirds innings. There's some with potential with the breaking ball, the, the slider and, and maybe the changeup as well. And 
he was a decent prospect early in his career. He kind of fell off over the last couple of seasons. So maybe this is a late bloomer type situation where he's starting to figure things out with major league coaching. My expectations aren't super high for Simeon Woods Richardson, but if you missed out on on the more interesting, you know, John Means and Christian Scotts uh, last weekend, and you just need someone to see if they can turn into anything, sure, Simeon Woods Richardson can can be that guy. All right, for more extensive fantasy baseball coverage, listen to the Fantasy Baseball Today podcast on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, the Odyssey app or anywhere else podcasts are found. Thanks for listening to Fantasy Baseball Today in 5, and we will be back again tomorrow. Bye-bye!